read, if you read, if you read recommendation two, that says this committee of jailer recommends that the amendments of the following members should not be discussed. That, Mr. Speaker, having read for you the three categories, that should be expunged from, from the report that was tabled, and you must give direction. And, Mr. Speaker, it is, it is not the power of the committee. A committee, Mr. Speaker, is an extension of the House. A committee cannot deny me outside the three items. Okay. 133, 5, 114 of the Constitution, and where uh, it, the matter is unconstitutional. Okay. Mr. Speaker, if we allow this to continue, it will set a bad precedent, and I ask you to expand recommendation two so that we can move and execute our amendments at the committee of the whole house. Okay, Honorable Tienda Molo, what's your point of order? Honorable Dr. Tienda Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, other than the fact that the chair of JLAC has only tabled the report and therefore any issue in terms of the report cannot arise before the debate starts. The point here, Mr. Speaker, is that the Honorable Duale stood under Standing Order 83. Standing Order 83 is not a substantive provision. It's an enabling provision. He needs to cite to you which standing order he's standing under so that he points out what is out of order. Standing Order 83 is merely enabling and actually, Mr. Speaker, it only allows you to intervene when another member is contributing. No member was contributing. So, Mr. Speaker, I urge you to rule the Honorable Dwale out of order and we proceed. Now, really, Honorable Members, this morning I would, I, I, I would not expect at all that we are going to get bogged down on technicalities. I have asked the Honorable Dwale to look at the, to look at the order paper. Even those particular uh, proposals that have been given by the chairperson JLAC and his committee have not been factored in terms of what is in the order paper. All the members who have made their request to make amendments have had, have, are going to have their say. Other than, other than those, of course, which will be on technicality be struck out for various reasons, which I will read. And there are not many. So there should be not a problem at all. Yes, there should be not a problem on that. This is, you see, committee is committee of the House. The House has the power over committees. So there should be no issue at all. What is it, Honorable Ishungwa? And I think we should make it brief now because we want to go to the main Honorable, meat of what we came this thank morning. You, thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I'll be very brief. Honorable Speaker, I think the only reason the Honorable Duala was raising that issue, and I'm well guided on what you are saying in terms of the order paper and the communication you have to give, is because we are in a house of records, Honorable Speaker. And when a paper is laid, Honorable Speaker, it becomes a record of the house, and we will stand guided by your communication. Honorable Speaker, it is also worth noting, I have uh, gotten communication from some members of the committee, that there is indeed also a minority report, and I want to beg that you also allow those with a minority report of that committee to table, so that it also becomes a record of the House, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. You see, just a minute, but, but in the meantime, in the meantime, I refer again members to the, to the order paper. And if you have seen the order paper, you will notice that many, many of these amendments that have been proposed by members are in the order paper and therefore will be conversed. So the issue of the committee report is, is, is really neither here nor there. Because we cannot again send a matter to a committee and guide them on how they want to proceed. Once it comes here and we are sure that it is not, uh, it, it does not, we would not want to take it, we simply have it as information for members. So there should be no issue at all. Just a minute. I am, uh, uh, on, the, on the issue of the Honorable Ishungwa, I am trying to confirm the minority report. And no, minority report is always tabled together with the report. So for as long as it is part of the report, then you can discuss it at the committee stage. When the, 
So I'm going to confirm that now. All the members, all the members, just relax. We are, we are, we are looking at it very keenly. So I have, I have to confirm that. So honorable members, give me a minute to confirm the attachments there and see whether it is, is part of it. So honorable members, the, the, the report is being uh, photocopied. I'm informed that uh, the minority report is part of the report. And in fact, and in fact uh, the members who yeah, so that should not be an issue at all. So we'll go to the next order because we need to progress. We need to progress, honorable members. Order number six, notices of motion. Order number seven,